when we started working together, it was funny because we attracted the exact opposite clients. I would be sitting here and a cash buyer for a $350,000 piece of property would walk in. She would sit here and a person wanted to buy this little $30,000 house that she would get them into. I mean, it just worked. They complemented each other in that respect, you know. Jeannie was more the business type aggressor and Linda had the knowledge, the experience and was a very successful real estate agent. We met Stephanie and Patty in, I believe, April of 96. Jeannie didn't want to have much to do with us at first. I mean, she just, she wasn't around much. Linda was a sweetheart. She didn't really want to talk about insurance. Of course, who does? Linda had checkbook and signed everything. And I couldn't tell you, now I can, but at that point, I couldn't ever tell you what I was signing. Then we came back. Um, the following year because we had heard that they moved. So we came over to check out their new office and, we, and Stephanie and I, we just looked at each other and said, you know what, we need to review their insurance program because we could just tell that the overhead had to be substantially higher. There were more people here and just that many things had changed for them. They had grown a lot in those 10 months. What they were recommending was, um, it's, it's called the buy-sell life insurance and basically was if something happened to me, Linda wouldn't want to end up with my 20-year-old as her partner, and I didn't want to end up with her husband as my partner type of thing. So it would buy the, the family out and make sure that, you know, there'd be enough at least to keep the business going until you added somebody or, or decided what you were going to do. She left at noon. She said she'd be home about 5 or 6. She was going to Bridger. At the time, I really didn't know she was with my sister. My sister's husband called and said um, Leah and my mom had been in a car accident in Rockville. It was uh, March 15th, and I was here at the office, and one of the agents here said that Jenny, Linda's oldest daughter, was looking for me. I said, you want me to come over? So we were sitting and waiting and praying and waiting and waiting, and then um, I saw a cop car drive into our lane. And so then he came in and, and told me that um, my mom had been killed in an automobile accident. We stayed pretty much most of the night, and then I went home and waited for the sun to come up because I didn't want to wake one of the insurance agents too early. And uh, I waited as soon as that sun come over. It was like 5.30, quarter to 6 or whatever. I was on the phone with her, and I just said, Linda's dead, what do I do? I mean, I really didn't know what we had or what was covered or what the kids had or, you know. I knew that the case was was in force, and so I just reassured her and told her it was going to be okay. Real estate is such a volatile business, you know. One, one month you have the money pouring in and then you go a couple of months without it. And it probably wasn't until about six months after Linda's death that I realized the importance of Jeannie having the insurance. When we went to the funeral, gee whiz, there was like 600 people there. As I looked around the church, I thought, you know, we're the only ones here who are going to be able to do anything more for this family than bring chocolate chip cookies and cake. You know, we are going to be able to take care of them. If we didn't have it, we probably, probably, and I'm being pretty honest, we probably wouldn't have our doors open right now. <laughs> 